you been? Brandon, it's a school night. Do you know what time it is? What are you doing here? Have you worried sick of it? Oh, please you? spare me. Brandon. Sorry, we just lost track of the time. You lost track of the time? It's almost one o'clock. Where were you? Hanging out. We were at a pool hall. I got in a game. It's like Brandon said, we lost track of time. <gasps> oh, my God. You always get a fat lip when you play pool? I lost some money. How much? $800. Look, I can't handle this. So you never could handle anything, could you? Don't you speak to me like that. I do not deserve to be spoken to in that way. Well, how should I speak to you? With respect? You're like someone who walked out of me when I was six years old. I'm sorry. Would you excuse us for a minute? I need to talk to my son. Brenda, come on. Everybody, into the kitchen. All right, are you involved in this? No, Dad, I was just trying to help him cool out a little bit. I did the best job I could. Oh, Dylan. I think the time for feeling sorry for Dylan is over. I know. How can you say that? Brenda, the kind of problems that Dylan has take a long time to build up. Now, we've all been there for him, but there's only so much that any of us can do. You're abandoning him. You said that you would stand by him, that you'd help him. Brenda, he has a mother now. Yeah, that's the trouble. Then he's gonna have to work it out with her. And Brenda, until Dylan shows he can get a grip on his life, I don't want you seeing him. Do you understand? Dylan, I admit it. I don't know what to do. I do not know how to handle you. I'm not your problem. You're my responsibility. Really? Since when? If you're trying to hurt me, You're succeeding. Tell me why. Why should I all of a sudden start listening to you? Because I am your mother and I love you. Oh, please, let's not bring love into this. Dylan. Dylan! Oh, this is my... Ridiculous. I don't know how to be a mother. Iris, it's it's not something you can figure out in, in just one month. I've been working at it full time for over 16 years. Oh, when Jack was arrested, I thought to myself, finally I get my son back. I thought, I'll just move right on him. Oh, God, what a fool. Oh, Iris, don't say that. He needs you whether he realizes it or not. Cindy, that is a beautiful platitude, but let's not kid ourselves. I walked out on my son. Hmm? Why should I expect him ever to forgive me for that? I would even want to understand why. He's right. I don't deserve to be a part of his life. Dylan. My father says I can't see you until you get your life together. Yeah, well, he's probably right. I don't want to lose you, Dylan. Not this time. I'll be all right, Brent. Promise. <laughs> 